Hi, I'm Paul Ranney from the prayer ministry team here at Community Church. And today I'd like to talk to you about, uh, while we're here in the Lenten season, um, one of the things that um, I have committed to during Lent. Now I know it's, it's always popular usually to give up something during Lent, and I have done that. Um, the one I've chosen to give up are empty calories. Um, I've struggled a little bit with it, but I, I, I think I'm doing okay so far. Uh, depending on where this video is going to be posted, how far along from now, um, I may have had lesser or greater degrees of success that I've had so far on the empty calories, but I'm trying. Um, but the other thing I'd like to talk about is what I have committed to doing more of during the season. And um, the one I picked for myself is to try to think of God and to talk to Him more often during the day than I have in the past. Now, I, I know most of you have the same kind of routine that I have uh, when it comes to devotional time. Um, devotional time for me normally happens in the morning, very early in the morning when I wake up. Uh, I try, before my, heat, my feet hit the floor, I try to uh, say, good morning God, thank you for a new day, um, that kind of thing, just to get my thoughts in order. That, that's one of the first things I want to think about is God. Uh, thank you, God. Um, I, I, thanks for the day. Um, please be with me today as I, as I try to make it through the day, that kind of thing. Um, now, I, I like to picture him answering me. Okay? I like to picture him saying, you're welcome, Paul. Good morning to you, too. Um, all I ask of you is that you think of me during the day. And I try, to, I try to picture him asking that all he wants in return for this, this wonderful new day is for me to just think of him more often during the day. Now, after my devotional period in the morning, um, nine times out of ten, if it's during the week, uh, it doesn't take very long after I get to work that my state of mind has changed from uh, calm, devoted, uh, peaceful state of mind to one of kind of mass chaos as I get to work and things start happening. Okay, And that's why for me I felt it was a very good thing to pick out uh, for Lent was to think about God more often during the day because <clears throat> as the day at work goes by I tend to completely forget uh, about what's most important in my life which is God. And I don't want to do that. I want to be thinking about God more often during the day because I know it has a peaceful effect on me. It helps me to remember that what's really important um, is just a thought away, and that's to think of God. Now, one of the things I'm using to help me with this is uh, I, I'm keeping a little pendant in my pocket. And this is actually something that a, a member of my family had given me um, a little while ago it was for a keychain, and I never used it as a keychain, but I felt it would be good to keep it in my pocket um, whenever I, I have my, if I'm reaching for my keys or I'm reaching for something in my pocket, I'll remember that it's there and this will be a trigger for me. And this is actually a pendant um, that has Isaiah 41.10 on it. Um, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So every time I feel that pendant, it helps me to, to think, to just pause, no matter what I'm doing at work, just pause, and, and all God is asking for, I know, is just a little bit of acknowledgement, a little bit of thinking about Him, thank you God, I know you're with me, um, and that helps to, to, to bring some peace back into my day. Um, so that is my uh, commitment, not only for Lent, but of course this is something that I obviously would like to continue doing even after Lent and even after our Easter season is over with because I know it can help me uh, throughout each and every day. So I'd like to close with a, a nice relevant prayer um, called to remember God during the day. Lord God, the heavens are telling of your glory and the wonders of your love, the sun by day and the moon and stars by night. Yet as clouds will cover your sky in gloom, as the ceilings of men's buildings hide the sky from my sight, so the cares of this existence 
block your majesty from my mind. I look with hope to the day when my knowledge of your glory will never be hidden by the concerns of this world, and I may know you every moment of time, forever. But until then, forgive me for all the time I spend with my face bent to the things of the earth, your spirit ignored and forgotten. For you are always there, willing to show yourself to me and guide me and comfort me if I only lift up my head and see the sky above. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.